<laughs> Juliana. So we finished the tour. Learned so many, 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 many things. We loved the tour. It was great. Thank was you, really Daniel. <laughs> we learned a few things as well about generic, not generic, but like other things about history yes. from the Balkans and not only from Slovenia or exactly. from Ljubljana in particular. So that was really. We cool. also got a lot of Bosnian history explained that yeah. we didn't get explained when we were in Bosnia. So thank you. Fingers. So we are currently at. The dragon's bridge. You see the dragons? The dragons are the symbols of Ljubljana, the city, because the patron saint of Ljubljana is Saint George. Saint George. And you see there are dragons everywhere. Oh, sorry, those are not dragons. <laughs> Fail! Uh, so we learned that, and I also learned to differentiate dragons and non dragons. Towards the market, it is closed today, so we can tell you things about the market, but we cannot show you because it's closed. And when it's closed, they turn it into a parking lot. Also, we can only tell you things about the market that we've heard about, not that we've actually seen or something. Exactly. So now, so now, here we have the national what, the no. city's cathedral, not the national. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'm hungry. Okay, I'm not thinking straight. We are slowly approaching. Town Hall. That's a golden. Yeah, it's a golden shop. What do they sell? Gold? Oh, porcelain. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. So this is Town Hall. That's actually uh, the City Hall building. And this right here represents the main rivers of Slovenia. If you have a look at the Slovenian flag, it shows uh, three stars and three mountains and a few rivers and here the rivers are really important and this um, monument right here it has three sides to represent each of the three most important rivers in Slovenia. One is the Jublianitska, mm -hmm. the other one is the Sava and the other one I forgot the name. Talking about the coat of arms of Ljubljana you see the Ljubljana castle and the dragon. Now I identify dragons. Good for me. Cheese plate with traditional cheese. Fish plate with traditional fish. Eden with traditional hunger face. <laughs> Being like a man, shut up, I want to eat. We also got a soup. That's the castle with the two flags. And the river. What was the name of the architect? Plechnik. Plechnik was obsessed with columns. That's why every single bridge he built in Ljubljana has lots of columns. Oh, the pink church. We should go there and explain to people what it is. So, do you see those bridges? Well, you can only see one, I think. But the architect I mentioned before also created those bridges. Actually, the bridge in the middle was the first one and then they wanted to make it bigger because the tram was passing there and apparently people and cars and the tram, they could not all fit in there. And they were like, oh, why don't you destroy the bridge and build a bigger one? And he was like, uh-uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna build two more. So there was one in the middle for traffic and then two on the sides for pedestrians and it will all set, make sense in a minute. Here is one bridge. The second one. A lot of tourists. This is the main one where the tram was passing by. That's the castle right there. And then there you can see the third one. Ta -da! That's the pink church that used to be white and then it went red and then was it the Franciscans? Yes. They decided to paint it red. Because it's a Franciscan monastery. Yeah. And they decided to paint it red and then it started to fade and now it's pink and everybody was like, let's leave it pink, we love it pink. This is the national poet and he was a romantic poet and he also wrote the anthem. 
Um, of what? Which is of Slovenia. <laughs> <laughs> which is a really nice anthem that everybody here is really proud of because they mentioned first they it's like it's a toast it's called the toast yes and then it starts toasting for for Slovenia then for beautiful women then for beautiful men and then to all of the countries uh, in peace in the world who want to live in peace which is really so nice, nice. And so pretty. So it sounds very romantic, obviously, because this man here wrote it, who was a romantic poet. And um, to add to the romanticism, he was deeply in love with a girl from here. That was, was how old? Half his age. <laughs> he was 30 something, she was 16. Ooh, telenovela okay. stuff. So basically, they could not be together. He suffered a lot, which gave him a lot of leverage to write all of his things. And, <laughs> and they just erected this statue, monument for him, with his muse behind him, topless. But that's the fictional muse, right? The fictional muse, he has two muses, like the fictional one, and then the other one that we will see later. Which is a 16-year-old. <laughs> And the fictional one is this woman behind him, who I'm is good. topless. They put her there. And they put her right in front of a church. Topless, in front of a church in the beginning of the 20th century. Scandal! Oh my god. So yeah. And then, his real love that inspired everything he wrote as a romantic poet is right across him. So he's in the direction he where he, where he's looking. She's out of her window. Say hi. And what's her name? Juliet. Oh my god. Thank you for this. His name is not Romeo. Oh, it's Preseren. We don't know the first name. Thank you for the lovely story, Irene. You're welcome. I'm always up for romantic stories. <laughs> we are currently asking people if the cone of Irene's ice cream counts as cookie. It doesn't. Okay. I agree with you, but let's see what the people say. You don't agree because you ask people. <laughs> I'm a little shit steerer, so of course I ask the people. So we are currently at Congress. Square. So in Congress Square you can find different important buildings. The University, which is turning 100 this year, fun fact, uh, in 198 days. There is a Ursulian church with a monastery behind it. That's actually a museum where we're gonna go in a minute. And here there is the Philharmonic. Actually, Gustav Mahler, fun fact, studied here. This square is full of fun facts. <laughs> it is called a Congress Square because after the Congress in Vienna, uh, after the Napoleon Wars, um, another Congress happened and it took place here in Ljubljana. You're loving your ice cream. Our next stop will be the Museum of Illusions. This is an illusion. Yes. <laughs> the cone is not I a can cookie. Make it disappear. <gasps> How did you do that? Do you see it moving? Because I see it moving. So we're we are at the Museum of Illusions, and it's very loud. It's made out of mini elephants. How many legs does the elephant have? Oh my god! What to do? Look into the prison. Now step back and look inside from a greater distance. Toilets are also an illusion. Didn't you want to go? Yeah. <laughs> Do you imagine there being so many copies of us? Even being unable to close the door. I was being unable to close the door. Where actually a lot of Eden is not being able to close the door. 
resolver my problem was that I don't want to get stuck in here because it doesn't have a handle to open. You're stuck with me forever in the infinity room and not even with one of you. I'm stuck with all of you. Oh, it's so crowded here! Is it the same size? No. No. Look. <laughs> this is this is <laughs> That's missing. If I measure it like this, it's the same size. Five. <laughs> Hello. I'm really headless naked. <laughs> totally bodiless Irene. But oh, that's a plate. <gasps> look at that. Oh, look at that. They brought me Irene's head. This is like Game of Thrones. Hey Ned, what up? I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded. Edurne, we are about to enter into a new galaxy. Oh my god! Is Chris brought here? <laughs> no, why is everything moving? Why is everything moving? Oh my god! Are we dying? Is this moving? I'm holding on to this because are we dying? No, it's moving the other way around. Enter again. So you know what we are doing, Irene? <laughs> we are strolling, strolling, strolling by the river. <laughs> I have no friends. We would like to conclude our Ljubljana video here by the river. It's so pretty. Uh, what was your favorite thing here in Ljubljana, Irene? The truffle honey. <laughs> and no, my favorite thing was the national poet. <laughs> <laughs> the romantic guy. The romantic poet. I think story. my favorite thing was the Museum of Illusions. Yes, that was, that was a great I part. loved the vortex tunnel. Like, I want a tunnel like that in my house. I want my hallway to be like that. And uh, every time I pass by to go to the toilet, I trip. Every time we stopped, it stopped, I was like, can we get in again? Please! <laughs> Please! Guys, this ends our trip here in Ljubljana. I mean, we're gonna go to the pub and maybe have some dinner, but that would be it. This was all of the touristic stuff. And now we are going to go to the pub. Here we will continue in the next episode. Same channel, same time, same <laughs> us, different city, exactly, different country. Uh, next different up weather, in our <laughs> schedule is split in Croatia. So stay tuned and hit the like button if you liked it. If you have any questions of how we organize the trip or if you would like more information, let us know in the comments. Or if you think that we skipped something super important in Ljubljana that we didn't 
talk about. And, and then we have to come see. back. Then you tell us and then we will maybe come back. Yes. Yes, so thank you for watching. Bye!